Hello patrons, welcome to film one. Um, I'm going to show you how we experiment with drips as a tiny first step towards making a fragrance. I buy a lot of um, filter paper off eBay. Damn, now probably you'll be buying all the filter paper off eBay instead. But it's very good, it's very absorbent. So just for a tiny experiment, when you're starting up, you don't have a lot to spend on materials and you're not going to make 50 mils of every test. I'm going to try one drip of ethyl maltol, which is the candy floss smell, and one drip of magnolia leaf essential oil, which is quite woody. It smells quite a lot like rosewood. So I'm trying, and I always put the lids back on because just in case. So I let this dry. And I see, does it smell like magnolia leaf candy floss? Weirdly, it kind of does. Um, so I would mark this up as one to one and leave it. And maybe I'll try another one. So, and it doesn't get through too many materials. I'm going to see how it goes with two drops of ethyl maltol candy floss smell and three drops of magnolia leaf because I know this ethyl maltol and I know that it has a habit of taking over as time passes. So don't have to hang around while I waft this but so this one's more woodsy and so this for me is more of a balance. I probably go two to three. So I might do a load more, but you know, 30 drops is gonna make about one milliliter. You won't use up your entire stock of precious raw materials just experimenting. But it's only a test, it's only a guideline. We always do this by weight professionally, but for testing, these do nicely.